This lesson is analyzing scatter plots, and the goal is to make predictions from linear models. What you should understand by the end of the lesson is that sometimes it's possible to model data from real world situations with linear and equation. You can then graph the equation and draw conclusions about the situation. Now a scatter plot is a graph that relates the two sets of data and plots the information using ordered pairs. You can use scatter plots to determine the strength of the relationship or its correlation. So, the closer the data or the points are along a line, the stronger the correlation. So, if you notice, these points are going down in a pretty tight line. That is a strong negative correlation. These are going down, but they're not real tightly knit, close knit, so it's a weak negative correlation. These are going up, but not real close together, so it's a weak positive correlation. This is a strong positive correlation because they are very closely together going up and to the right. And then if you have something that looks like this where the points are all over the place, there's no correlation. For example, something that might have no correlation is your age and your phone number. Your age doesn't have anything to do with what phone number you're given. So those have no correlation. So here's a scatter plot, and it wants to know, is it positive, negative, or no trend or correlation? So as I'm looking at this, it is going in a loosely knit downward trend. So I would say that this is a negative trend. Does this scatter plot show a positive trend, a negative trend, or no trend? Well, as you can see, that the dots are pretty much all over the place, so this would have no trend. Practice one. Is this positive, negative, or no trend? Practice two. Does this scatter plot show positive, negative, or no trend? Practice three. Does this scatter plot show a positive, negative, or no trend? Then there are times when you're going to have to draw conclusions from the information from a scatter plot. So, this one is asking, based on the scatter plot, which is a better prediction for y when x is 81? So, when x is 81, and the two, two answers are 89 or 52. So, I'm going to come over to about where x is 81 and go up. Here is 89 is way up here, and 52 is somewhere around here. So based on the information that they give us, the better prediction would be 52. Your practice four, based on this scatter plot, which is a better prediction for x when y is six. Is it four or 10? Practice five, which is a better prediction for y when x is five? Is it six or 10? And practice six, which is a better prediction for y when x is 69? Is it 24 or 56? After you're done with your six practice problems, bring them to me to be checked. Then you can do your IXL 
assignment. You must get at least a 90 or better. And then at the end of the day, put how you did on this lesson. At one beginning, two learning, three understanding, or four expert. And as my scatter plots blow into the wind, have a great day. Bye.